Natasha here. Today I'm going to do a yoga wheel flow with you all. I'm going to slow it down from that last yoga wheel video that I did. It was a little bit fast and I did a voiceover. Today I'm talking you through it, so we'll slow it down, do all the warm-ups and flowing I like to do with my yoga wheel. Uh, this is a yoga body yoga wheel. You can use any one you have. This one is 15 inches, so it's a little bit larger than most typical wheels. But again, whatever you have is great. Let's get started. Come to the top of your mat, and then just press it into your hands, roll the shoulders back and down. Start to plug the belly in, gentle tuck of the tail, ribs in, close the eyes. Allow the shoulders to be heavy, spread and anchor down into the toes. Find your center balance as you lift up through the crown of the head. Let's take a couple deep breaths together. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. <sighs> Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. <sighs> nice elongated breaths. Letting go of your day, coming into the moment. Preparing the body for work. Maybe you start to change the breath to Ujjaya breath. Just done through the nose. Warming up your core temperature. Keeping that heat inside the body. One more deep breath in. Maybe hold it at the top. Big breath out completely. Imagine emptying out any stale air, any negativity, any stress, judgment, anxiety, let it go and maybe hold that breath a moment at the bottom. And then we'll float the eyes open. Inhale, press that wheel up. See if you can straighten out the arms and press firmly through the shoulders up and then pull down. Okay, just pressing up and then drawing just the shoulders down. One more time, press up. Hollow body position, pull the belly in, pull the ribs in, and then bend the elbows back. Can we start to press the wheel right into your back body, let your head rest on it, and then start to charge the heart up. It might feel like a back bend right here. You might start to press the hips forward and lean a little bit deeper, and then scoop and stack up to neutral. Re-extend the arms. Tall, straight line in the body. Pull the belly in with effort. Let's take a gentle side stretch. Inhaling and exhale, there's some weight to the wheel, so it might feel a little hard, a little challenging. Exhale, breathe through. Inhale up, exhale, other way. Right over your side body, press the hips away, stack the shoulders, squeeze the core. Exhale back, bend the elbows. Press right into the shoulders, the, the traps, and then lean back, gentle back bend. Okay, and release. If you feel safe to do this, we're gonna try to back bend, sending the wheel back, and the chest rises up proudly. Standing back bend one more time. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, back. And then lift up, bend the elbows, roll down. Take a forward fold, hanging over your wheel. Wherever that is, if it's in your way, just roll it between your legs and let your head dangle. Let the spine release. Shake the head, yes, no. Some deep breaths here. Start to activate the quads and tilt the tailbone up. Maybe bend and straighten a few times. Bend and straighten, shake the head. Grab opposite elbow, little sway from side to side. We're gonna sit on the wheel in just a moment. Enjoy this forward fold as we bring some length into the back body, maybe stirring, starting to add that core strength, cat-cow or stirring movements. And then go ahead and set yourself up in a sitting position on the wheel. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, twist one arm forward, one arm back. Pull the arms in opposition and then gaze towards your back hand. Keeping the hips pressing forward. 
Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Pull the arms in opposition. Right hip forward. Look towards that right hand. Pull, stretch. Like you're wringing out those internal organs. And lift palms to heart center. Thumbs to sternum. Press the chest forward. And then take those hands behind the back body. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze shoulder blades. Can we move here? Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, press into the wheel, charge the heart up. If it feels safe, you can drop the head back. Tuck the chin one more time. We'll bend one elbow and give it a little hook around the hips. So the fists are trying to hook around the hips. And again, we'll take that gaze in opposition. Deep breath in and out. Bend the opposite elbow. See where you can hook those fists around the hip. And then take that gaze. Deep breath in and out. Good. Release the bind, grip on to the back of the wheel and start to really charge the heart forward again. This time rolling the hips forward and sending the chest up, maybe walking down your wheel. Tuck the chin and cap the back. Send the hips and pelvis forward Scoop the belly in, round the spine. Feel the separation of the shoulder blades as you push and create space. Walk the feet a little bit forward. We're gonna start to sink and roll down. Come onto your tippy toes and then just bounce here. Pressing up using the core, send the hips back. Engage until you're sitting right back at the top. Flex the feet and forward fold. Round your way up. Do that again. Pelvic tilt. Start to press down. Maybe you keep flat feet this time and come until you're hovering right over the earth. And then just start to engage the quads like you're doing these little pulsing deep squats. If you feel like your wheel is rolling away from you, just hold on to it. Four, little pulsing. Three, two, Let's try one leg. Walk your feet a little closer together. Press one foot out. Squeeze the belly and trust your wheel. Lean into it. Hold it if you need to with your thumbs. And then roll here. Four. Three. Exhale two. Exhale one. Hold. Maybe try to balance here. Scoop the belly in. Trust that leg. Pull the, the shoulders by the ears. And then grab on and switch. Other foot presses forward, holding on or not. We're going to roll back until the knees align and then roll forward as the leg hovers above your mat. Let's do three. Exhale. It's okay if you're falling. You'll just grip onto the earth. Hold onto the wheel one more time. Can we hold it here? Maybe extend the arms. Hover low in your seat, but don't let that foot drop if you can help it. Squeeze the belly and ribs in, and then step on it. Good, we're gonna go ahead and start to roll into a arched back bend. See where that feels good for you. Can you drop the head back? And let the body go. Arms can just hang, let gravity open up the shoulders. Start to really deepen this, rolling forward, straighten the legs, roll and have a seat. If your hair is in the way, go ahead and put it up. Continue that, opening up the front body and just breathing and continue to roll. And when you feel like you're ready, we'll just open the arms over the head. Exhale all the way down, touch your heels. Inhale, so a little bit more vigorous. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now, grabbing on to the wheel. See if you can get your fingertips there. Elbows high, drop the head. Hover, opening up through the thoracic, upper back bending, cervical spine as the head rests. If that doesn't feel safe in your body, you can always support the head and hold here. If it's too deep for you. And then work your way to gripping. And then let's continue to roll this time if you can, holding on to the wheel. 
Inhaling, trying to get the tailbone to touch back. Deep stretch. Exhaling, trying to compress your whole back into the wheel and maybe even straighten the legs. Feel the hip flexor, the psoas, getting a nice opening. And do that a few times here. Nice. So we're going to place a little bit of weight now in the forearms and maybe the top of the head. And can you extend one leg up? Breathe here. Maybe start to move it forward and back like you're moving through water. And then we'll switch. Breathing deeply. Move that leg around forward, back, forward, back. Continue to grip the wheel. If you feel like you can take both feet off, go ahead and lift here into a nice little tuck position or hollow body position, hollow back. And then maybe we try to straighten. If you're falling, it's okay. You'll just roll and land on your feet. Trust yourself. Engage the quads. Advanced little option. You could try to pull the legs forward and then roll on the spine to the sacrum. Trying to peel off, maybe a little weight in the head. Forearms are strong. And then roll on off or onto the wheel with control. Challenge that. You can try to straighten and lower. You might fall forward. It's okay. It would just look like, oh, too much like that, right? Try that one more time. A little weight in the forearms, maybe a tiny bit of weight in the head. If you have a large wheel, you can have some fun coming all the way forward and back. Woo! Good. Let's bend the knees to slowly come back down to the feet and support the neck. We're going to try to come up to seated. Engage the core, sitting up, rolling the hips back. Walk back, walk back. Ah, forward fold. Give that head a shake and let the, the stress or energy just drain out the top of the head as you let it hang. It was hanging back for a while, so just let it hang forward to counter. And then lift up to straight spine. We'll do this little side to side bend action and I'll turn so you can see me better. Waking up through the side body. Take your hands to your, behind your ears and then just start to dip down and up. Inhale, exhale, inhale. You can either take a little goddess stance or a straddle, whatever feels better in your body right now. But we are gonna take little goddess engagement of the legs coming up. So let's just dip, exhale, inhale. Let's do four, squeeze, three, squeeze, two, lift it up, one, hold it. Can we start to walk the feet under the knees and then hover? Don't lose the wheel, but hover right off of it. So your weight is in your legs and then sit. Hover, goddess, and sit. Hover, 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 and sit. One more time, hover, and then side bend for four. Reaching a little deeper, three. Can you touch the ground? Two, and one. Hold it, bring those feet forward and do the same thing in chair. Hover your weight forward, engage through the quads, engage through the belly, take a breath here. Have a seat, two more. Hover, weights in the feet, you're just feeling the wheel under the sit bone but not sitting until now. And last time, hover, arms up, Utkatasana, knees just over the toes, hips back, belly plugs in and come on off. Nice work. We're going to take it into a child's pose onto the wheel. Be safe here. Your knees come on, your hands straight over, and we just kind of tuck our bodies. Press the palms down, drop the head heavy. Breathe into the back. Inhale, fill up the back body, and exhale, sigh. Good. Straighten out the spine, and then step down and allow yourself to drape over the wheel. Can your chin meet it? Tap your head, tap your knees, tap your head, tap your knees. Inhale, exhale. Let's tuck the toes under and then sit back on the toes for a moment. Peel out that pinky toe. See if you can just hold that toe stand. 
maybe take the wheel up, sit, take a moment here, and then bring the wheel down. All right, we're gonna take it into spinal balance, and you'll just hover right leg, left arm. Lift and stretch in opposition, switch, left leg, right arm, hope you don't have to pee, <laughs> you have that right in your, against your bladder, and switch, opposite arm and leg, starting to engage the back body, and the last one, hold it here, breathe, nice, bring the hands down, walk back to a downward facing dog, and then we're going to do a down dog with our hands on the wheel. So allowing the chest and the side body to lengthen, feel the lats, the shoulders, and you can kind of sink that chest and challenge yourself by rocking into the toes and the heels and the toes and the heels. Nice work. We're gonna come into some plank work now. All right, so just like we did that child's pose, get those shins on the wheel. It's okay to have to adjust. Walk your hands under your shoulders and then see if you can hold this position. To make this easier, you'll have the wheel closer to your belly, harder back by the feet. Let's tuck, knees to chest, <sighs> exhale, press away. Look at your hands, what are they doing? Are you spreading your fingers and gripping down with all 10 fingers? <sighs> Inhale, exhale one more time. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna walk the, roll the wheel in and then take a push up. Elbows bend, chaturanga. Press up, chaturanga. Press up, one more time, chaturanga. Elbows hug ribs, gaze forward, heart forward, lift. If you're feeling pretty open in the upper back from the rolling, let's bring our chest down and then bend the knees, send the hips up. So you have to have the strength to come out of it. Push the ground away, child's pose. We'll do that one more time. Chaturanga to that little locust upper back bend. Chest and chin melt. And then for a little bit of a bigger stretch, maybe try to roll your hips and booty up. Surrender, breathe. Press away. Tuck the knees in child's pose. Shake the head out and jump off safely outside the wheel. Let the head hang. Circle the wrists or take a counter stretch back of the hands on the mat. Even if the knees are bent, rock it out. Good. Let's go ahead and come back to your plank work and we'll do a little series of lunging. Palms down, spread the fingers, index finger forward, elbow creases forward. So we're gonna take a pike if it's too hard to pike, tuck again. Pike the hips up high. Send the hips back. Advanced, pike up, and then send the body back. And then all the way into your pike. Big, huge range. All the way back. Shoulders way in front of the arms. And then all the way up. And if you have a handstand in your practice, you could try to take it up to handstand. Good way to practice pressing. And, whoops, come down. Just kick the TV. <laughs> Circle out those wrists, head heavy, breathe here. All right, well, let's go ahead and we'll do this from standing since we just did a lot on the hands. We'll bring one foot onto the wheel and then step far enough away where you can drag back and pull in. And just play with how you want your foot, probably the top of the foot down. Give yourself space. Drag, lunge. Drag the knees towards one another. Press back into a balancing lunge. Let's do four. Press away. Drag it in, straight spine. Shoulders mostly staying over the hips. Two more, take your time, take it back, 
Take it in. Let's pulse. Arms up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We'll switch it down in plank just for fun. Let's switch other foot steps through and find your balance. Find your foot placement where you want to be. Drag in, press away. If your wheel seems like it's turned, straighten it out. In and out. Good. Up to standing. Back to a deep lunge, like a runner's lunge. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Straight spine. Press away. You can even start to stretch that quad and hip flexor and almost coming and come down towards a split. Two more like that. <sighs> Pull it in. Press it out. <sighs> Lift the arms. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back. Step up into your plank. Oh, if you're falling, it's okay. Step off, hold plank. If your wheel's not too crazy high, let's come down to a forearm plank. Drop, drop. Push the elbows down. Elbows are under the shoulders. Now we'll prep in a forearm stand. So we'll get some ease on the wrists and we'll prep our pincha, our forearm stand. So tucking here, four, exhale, three, exhale, two, one more time. And then maybe we try piking. You can press your palms to give your head a little space. Press it away. Same thing as we did on the hands. You could start to progress by sending the hips back and then sending the hips up. And if you feel like you could take pincha, a good way to try would be maybe one leg leads you off. You breathe in, playing with shapes. Maybe a scorpion since we stretch the back a little bit. Chest and head lifts, legs try to press forward. And then go ahead and safely come down. Child's pose. <sighs> nice work. Rag doll up till you're kneeling. Grab your wheel and let's take a child's pose here. Letting the head fall between the hands. Shake the head out. Let your belly land on your thighs and maybe rock out side to side. We'll try camel a few times from here. And if you had fun with Pincha and you want to continue to play, I'll give you another option of holding the wheel with the hands. Let's come on up. You can start to press your hips into the wheel, pubic bone pressing forward, and then taking the chest up, supporting the back or reaching back for the heels. Keep pressing the hips into the wheel, those inner thighs. Roll it out, child's pose. We could try a camel, Ustrasana, with the wheel in our hand. Be safe, the wheel's gonna add some weight, so you really need to be strong enough to continue to pull the chest and heart up and not get pulled down into the low back. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, chest up, proud. See where that takes you. Bring the wheel forward first, tuck the chin, and child's pose, Woo! Rock sway, whatever you need to do to counter that. Here's another fun way to work on your pincha, or even a headstand. I'll show you pincha, but if that's not in your practice, feel free to put a little weight on the very crown of the head. So we'll grab the wheel with our hands, and you can press a little bit of weight into the wheel with the back of your head and try to kick up here. Elbows firmly pressing down into the mat. Shoulders are protracting down. And then just play with shapes. Maybe you can find your wheel here with your toes. You can start to charge the gaze forward. Let's see what's there for you.
When you're ready to come off, press the shoulders down, step onto the ground, and again, a nice counter and child's pose, or kind of drape over the wheel here, and breathe. Awesome job, a lot of hard stuff today. <sighs> Ragdoll up, show you one more little flow, little side lunge you can do. Step on the wheel, press it out to the side, and then drag it in. Inhale, send the hips back, exhale. Maybe the arms go up and out, and then just adjust. If your wheel is kind of turning a lot, See what works in your body. Side, lift. Let's do four. Lift it in. My wheel's really turning. Three, maybe a heel, that works better. Two, sometimes you just gotta play. See what works in your body and with your wheel. Let's pulse flat back. Four, hips back. Three, belly tight. Two, and one. We're gonna turn towards the wheel. Try to balance here. Roll it in, push away. Roll it in, press away. Good, can you grab the wheel and take a hamstring stretch right here? Whew, especially if you were doing any scorpion shapes. Really necessary. Just stretch the hamstring, see what's there. Let's press down into the wheel, protract the shoulders, cat the back, can you find space? Lift the heel and send it away. Warrior three, tuck, press away. Compression, thigh to chest. Exhale, hug the heel in. Exhale, back. Inhale. And then little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's step it all the way forward. And we'll just nuzzle, we'll just nuzzle that wheel into the quad and hip. Stretch it here. Inhale up. Take a gentle twist. Take it back. Exalted warrior twist. And then hands down. You could roll into the quad and hip. Just seeing what feels good for your body. Nice work. You could play with shapes here. Challenge your balance. Maybe get your back leg, play with shapes here. You could try Little Mermaid, bind, ooh, pretty wobbly. You could try flipping your grip. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's do that series on the other side before we close. So again, just seeing what works in your body here. Send the leg to the side, abductors, outer thigh, drag it in, press it away. Your hips go back just like a squat, hips back, inner thigh drags you in. Inhale, exhale, play with foot placement, let's do four, flat back, hips back, squeeze the belly to rise, here's two, Ooh, wheel falling, here's one, little pulses. The hips lift and lower an inch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift and turn to your wheel. Roll, heel, bend. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, press it away. Find your hamstring stretch, grab the wheel. Flat back, flex those toes. <sighs> Wiggle those hips. We want to square the hips off, find expansion through the heart. Press into the wheel, pop up through the back of the heart. Can you lift the heel up? It's hard. Fingertips will help. Quad cramp, oh yeah, slip it back. Warrior three. Hold it here, hips square, toes down, long neck and spine. Inhale, tight compression, <sighs> exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try a few more. Squeezing the core, quad hip flexor, hamstrings, and press away. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Butt cheeks squeezing the booty. Hold. And we'll step it forward to a lunge. 
Again, that wheel can just come in towards the hip and quad. And then we'll just see what feels good here. Maybe you release it forward. Just play. Balance, chest up. Exhale, chest down, maybe to the forearms, draping over. We're breathing. Let's lift back up. Twisting, lunge, exalted, grab the hamstring or the outer thigh, send the energy up. Whew. And again, you can play with what you want to do here. Maybe taking the back leg off, trying to grab it, hooking it in the elbow, flipping your grip. Lots of options. And coming down. Let's go ahead and take both feet down. We'll do one little vinyasa here. Chaturanga. Your back bend is here. Walk the hands out. See if you can send the chest through the shoulders. And then exhale. Child's pose. Whew. Breathing into the back. And then coming onto your feet, releasing the wheel in front of you, knees down, child's pose, hang here. Let's take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. We worked really hard. We can angle the wheel to the side, 45 degrees, rock and roll here. Pick up the wheel and do that same thing to the other side. And then bring it forward. We're going to go ahead and have a seat and bring those feet on top. Take a quick bridge. You can walk your feet onto the wheel or keep your calves into the wheel. Peel up, wiggle the shoulders under the body, press the hips up, squeeze the hamstrings and glutes while pulling the belly and ribs down, and then continue to puff up through the chest. Wiggle onto the shoulders, breathe here. Take those shoulders out. Roll down like a string of pearls. Extend those legs out. You have the option to do a plow pose before we close the class. So, we'll take the hips off again. Wiggle onto the shoulders. And then you're going to try to roll the wheel in. Take one leg at a time off. And then just kind of nuzzle the wheel into your back. So this might be good enough for you today. You could try to extend the legs or we're going to try to straighten. You can press into the wheel with your hands or press into the wheel with your back and try to straighten. Little room with your chest and chin. Kind of play with that there. Maybe you take the feet over the head, if that feels safe for you. Good. We can try to release the feet down, let them hang. Come out of it, we'll roll the wheel away and roll down. Now you could take your Shavasana with your feet hanging here, or simply bring your feet into a butterfly or extend them all the way out to the sides. I'm gonna close the eyes. Allow the space between the forehead and eyebrows to soften. Allow the jaw and the tongue to soften. Feel that heart beating and try to slow down the breathing. Letting go of any tension, finding the place where you can completely trust the earth, surrender your body into your mat. We worked really hard. And this is the time in practice where we reap the benefits of that hard work. We get to seal in our practice. Our bodies and our minds have a moment of rest to recover 
to restore, repair all the muscles and tissues we've broken down. Stay as long as you'd like. You can always pause this video. I'm just going to close the class with you. Start to wiggle the fingers, the toes, circle the wrists, ankles. Draw the arms up away from the shoulders and the toes out in front of you. Take a deep breath in, pulling the ribs away from the hips, arching the back out of the neutral, and then exhale. Give yourself a nice big hug. Squeeze the knees in towards the chest or eyes, and then come onto either side. In your fetal position, your pose of comfort, take a couple more deep breaths into the back body. And sigh. Start to walk onto your hands. Any position that's comfortable for you just to close the class today. Thank you so much for joining me. Palms to heart center. Take a humble bow inward. Taking a moment of gratitude if there were things that we couldn't do or that were hard for us, that putting the work in will make it easier in the future. Every day is different and every day is a gift. Thank you so much for being here with me. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. I will see you next time. Thank you so much.